guys, Jenna Pickaxe 13 and today's video is going to be a little bit different because me personally, I've never seen a video like this before. So maybe I'm not the first video that's like this to be published on YouTube, but I don't know. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know. <laughs> so before further ado, subscribe down below by hitting that red subscribe button. Please make it great and hit that post notification bell button right next to the subscribe button so that way you're notified every time I upload. Sort of like a little text message to your phone every single time I upload saying ding 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 Pink Eyes 13 just posted so that way you're on top of my uploads and share this video with your friends and family for some Y2K 2000s girls nostalgic memories and yeah I also have a lot of links listed down below in the description box I have links to my eBay shop I have links to discount codes lots of discount codes I really recommend you checking them out so that way you could save a good buck or two so let's get on with the video okay guys so as you saw in the thumbnail I have a lot a lot lot of magazines the magazine option that I have the most is definitely the 17 magazine I think it was the last month of 2018 when the last published magazine of a 17 magazine was ever sold in stores and I'm really sad I did not know about that 17 magazine stopped selling in the Walmart in my neighborhood when I was like my 10th grade I think it was and if they sold they literally brought so many very little few copies that every time like I went there was no longer a copy available so that is why I had no clue when the last 17 published magazine was ever printed I did not know I was not aware of that according here in this September 2016 issue it used to cost $2.99 so here's the Ashley Benson magazine and it's April 2013 and it also cost three dollars so 17 was always really reasonably priced like it never like incremented over the years because like 2013 it cost three dollars 2016 it always cost the same amount of oh my gosh this one is the most iconic one this is my twist magazine this is the april may 2012 edition this one cost four dollars and this is 2012 so this one was more pricier than the 17 magazine even though this one was older um this was my first ever like teen magazine i was in the fifth grade when i got this like it's literally like so broken that like I taped it together just for the memories. I think I've reread this same magazine like 30 times easily. These are like the poppin' celebrities at the time, like Justin Bieber, One Direction, uh, um, Hunter Hayes, Taylor Lautner, Big Time Brush, uh, Hemsworth. Um, this was Miley Cyrus's ex-husband. I think this guy's name is Josh. Ariana, Bella, Taylor, oh my gosh, Cody was on here, Victoria, Selena, these are classics. This J14 magazine has incremented over the years. The last edition that I have says July 2020. The only place where I can find J14 in my area is in CBS. It cost $4.99. So my youngest j14 magazine is the january 2014 edition which is this edition and it costs 3.99 so it just incremented like a dollar which i do understand like oh, this is literally one of the like very very few like teen girl magazines out there available so i understand the price and oh my gosh guys he is no longer blonde. Did he dye his hair or like over the time as he aged, his hair got darker? What? So like my first, first magazine that isn't necessarily a teen celebrity magazine is this magazine. This is my first, like my first personal magazine that my parents bought me without it like necessarily being meant for them because my parents to this day, all my life, I've always, always, always read the People in Español magazine. Ever since I remember, like, even before I was born, my parents have always, always gotten the subscription magazine People in Español. And I'm going to turn 28 this year in August. So I've been 
my family has been collecting people in Espanol magazines for over 20 years. And the reason why I got this magazine specifically is because Miley Cyrus was on the title. And as you guys know, I'm the biggest Hannah Montana fan. So this one is the November 15, 2010 edition. So despite being 2010, I do think it's a bit pricey, $3.99 at the time. Because like I said, Mac, um, 17 always remained its price at $2.99. Funny story, you guys are going to see a lot of my magazines have like rips like this. I would read them and then I would be like, why do I need these magazines? If I already read them, it's not like I'm going to sit down and reread them. Of course, like one day, sometimes when I'm bored, I'm just going to sit down and like, reread them. Or if I remember like, oh, in certain edition, I saw a specific tip that I really, really liked and I want to go back and reread the tip, you know, or like the face mask and all that stuff. You know, magazines have a little bit of everything. So like, it's normal to want to go back and reread your own magazines. So I don't know. I was like, it's not like I'm gonna like, oh, we sit down and reread my magazines. I might as well just use my magazines for my school projects, for my art projects. And I grabbed my magazines and like, I do like, I did all, I, there was a time in middle school where I would like to do a lot of collages because mood boards were like a trend at the time. So I remember I would do a lot of collages and like to this day, since like, all my magazines are pretty much cut up. I'm like, okay, so I pull out my stack of magazines, my 23 magazines, and then I start doing like cutouts. And then I use those cutouts for my school projects or art. The 17 May 2016 with Megan Trainer. I think this is every YouTuber's favorite edition. The 17. October 2014 edition, which was a YouTube issue. It has Miss Glamorous, it has Zoe, it has Shane Dawson, it has Michelle Vaughn, and it has Bethany Moda. Bethany Moda and Meredith Foster. Oh my gosh, I'm so, did Meredith Foster ever have a Seventeen magazine like cover? I, I noticed she was like in like the pages, like, like two times, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Meredith Foster really deserved an issue. So now the next issue is Ariel Winter. Ariel Winter is so pretty. Look at her. She looks like Hailey Jenner. Look. Tell me she does not look like Hailey Jenner. So pretty. So this is a November 26th edition. This is a Camilo Cabello edition. I have no clue which edition this is because I literally cut it out. Okay, so here's a Tori Kelly edition, February 2016. So here's a Fifth Harmony March 2016. Here's a Zendaya edition, October 2016. Bella Hadid, November 2015. Uh, July slash August 2017 edition with Maddie. Here's the IGGY, September 2015 edition. Here's another YouTube favorite, 17 edition with Zoella on the cover. I love her books, Girl on Tour. Amazing books. Love the series. Girl, I wish the series is infinite and you're like 80 and still writing the series because I'm still gonna read it because that's how good your series is. Keep writing it until we're 80. Okay, so October 2015 edition. Okay, so here are my J14 editions. So this is my May 2017 edition. So it had Cameron, it had Selena, it had the Dolan Twins, it had it had Doug Cameron's, it had Maddie's, it had Jace Norman. Jace Norman was, oh, Jace Norman was already famous, like, in 2017. I used to love the show, Henry Danger, and I still love it. Love that Netflix put Henry Danger on because it's an amazing show. It's super kid-friendly, and it's super funny, and it's, like, a family show, like, literally all ages can enjoy. Bella, here's Jacob. So, I got this issue because Alicia Marie told me to. I remember the vlog. I don't remember the name of the vlog, but she said in the vlog, I'm gonna be in J14. Go check it out, guys. It was in a Target vlog, if I'm not mistaken. It was one of her Target vlogs. And that's when she showed it to us. So I was like, okay, so because Alicia Marie's on it, let me go support her. Okay, so the next edition is, here we have Roth Lynch. Here we have Five Seconds of Summer. Here we have Insurgent. Here we have Sean. Here we have Rowan. We have One Direction. We have Sabrina. We have Cameron. We have Ariana. We have Selena. We have Harry. We have Bethany. We have the Greers. We have Bella. 
in March 2015. Okay, so we have Billy, we have Cole, we have Sean, we have Demi, we have Henry. So here's the January 2014. Okay, we have Frost and Laura, aka Awesome and Ally. We have Justin, we have Fifth Harmony, we have One Direction, we have Zendaya, we have Niall, Harry, Ari, Taylor, Austin. Oh my gosh, Austin's a YouTuber now. Austin posts vlogs on YouTube now. So like on his same YouTube channel where he uploads his music, he also uploads vlogs now. And that's really cool. So now he's a YouTuber. We have Selena, we have Jennifer, we have Hunter Hayes, we have Becky G. I think this was like around the time Becky G came out with the song like um, Becky from the Block. Uh, like, you know, when she first started off her like, not first started off her music career, but when she started like really popping. Okay, so here we have um, in our May 2020 edition, we have Selena, we have Asher, and any BFFs to boyfriend and girlfriend. We have Sean, we have Dove, we have Billy, and we have the Jonas Brothers. Okay, and then we have my last magazine, my only edition, actually, of Tiger Beat. I only own one copy of Tiger Beat, and it's Dove Cameron. And I really love the quality of this one. It's like a really, like, matte, thick paper it's not like normal paper and it's not like the glossy paper it's very different this is like a matte texture it's very nice i love her makeup look at her makeup it's so cute this is the summer 2016 edition let's grab the latest magazine that i have and let's see how much these magazines have changed over time so in the time lapse of since 2012 to 2020 let's see how much these magazines have changed so let's keep in mind that these are two completely different brands so the twist magazine here has a lot of celebrities in comparison to this magazine this is a magazine we have five celebrities and this one has a whole bunch i want to assume that these trends are coming and going and these brands have to keep up to date i want to assume that a lot of people my age are still buying these magazines because since we grew up on these so here I am to like compare you guys the before and afters. And like I said, since I grew up with magazines looking like this, of course I'm gonna gravitate to a magazine that looks like this in comparison to a magazine that looks like this. These are celebrities that I did grow up with. So except for Billy. So like I would still get it because they're like around the same age. These are literally all celebs that came out when I was growing up, you know? Like I said, same for this. Um, the only new celeb here is Billy, but like I said, I feel like they should keep the same vibe unless, like I said, I don't know if the kids nowadays are more attracted to a magazine cover with lesser faces than a magazine cover with a lot of faces. I don't know. Something that I noticed in the back of both of these editions is both in the newer and the older version, it's both like a hygiene care product. These are waxing strips. These are feminine hygiene pads. First page, so here we have a Splat ad. Love the Splat to her dye brand. Still vibrant after so many months. And here we have a Nintendo ad. So it's like usually like a really fun ad. So here we have like a little table of contents and here we have a, a tampon ad. So something funny about this different is, as you guys see, YouTubers. Yeah, no, like, YouTubers weren't on 2012 magazine editions. And this is more like a little, like, Q&A, catching up with the Hunger Game guys. These are more like, like, little, like, celebrity gossiping, like, like, is it true? Is it false, you know? Okay, so this is, like, a lot of, like, celeb, like, celeb news. I used to love doing, so I would do this, where, like, for example, like, I would grab the outfits you know how they have like very similar outfits and then i would do like my own like who wore it best because how many times did you not read the who wore it best edition and you're just like no the magazine is so wrong i think that that person wore it best guys i still want a moped like it's to this day and i've always wanted a moped and i still want a moped and recently i got the cutest mug in the world it's a girl riding a moped in europe and I want to do that one day. I want to go to Europe. I want to be that one tourist that's just riding around Europe in a moped. Okay, so this is like a whole page dedicated to Demi. And it's her secrets for self-care. One thing that I really like about Twist is that Twist was very big on interviews. Like, look at all these. These are super duper cute. 
they literally interviewed all these artists so like asked them like can you tell us your school dance dramas they're still personally interviewing celebrities but like i said there's like way less now and i don't know i want to assume if there's very very little celebrities on the title of the 2020 magazine is probably celebrities charge to have their face in a magazine cover so probably they charge like a lot and like with the magazine business dying i understand why there has to be lots of budget cuts as well guys i found out that the duct tape brand still does the prom design your duct tape prom dress competition so like i hope that the duct tape brand is sponsoring like giving them the tape for free because five thousand dollars is a lot but like you could spend a lot of money creating that dress and a tuxedo imagine how much tape that takes that takes a lot of tape but <laughs> i kind of like how like the newer ones have like full-on pages dedicated to like a specific celebrity and it's just not like a whole bunch of celebrities and like literally little mini interviews you get to know the celebrity more with the newer magazines because they have more to say more to write about them meanwhile back then like in the 17 magazines i've noticed that like there was like a lot of like mini interviews with other celebrities but they always had that like one big like five page interview with that one celebrity that was on the cover page oh my gosh i remember when i read this about selena i was like oh my gosh i know selena i remember i would finish reading these magazines and i thought that like i just knew these celebrities on like a personal basis i remember that i used to love these sections when it would tell you like how you could dress like a celebrity my favorite section was a yikes section because it was just so funny to read these funny stories and i love that they still make the yikes section okay so let me read one it says security thought i was stealing my friends and i were shopping at the mall and we were joking around at claire's trying on headbands bows and sunglasses when we were leaving i forgot that i had tons of bows in my hair so when i walked out the cashier yelled hey get back here you didn't pay for those and a security guard happened to be walking by they didn't believe me but they let me off with a warning security followed us around the mall the rest of the day dream I think Washington, WA, and yeah, it's just fun to read everybody's stories. You didn't even have, and that's what I love. You didn't have to be famous to be on this magazine. If you had an interesting story to tell and they thought it was interesting enough to post, you were on the magazine. So I'll see you very, very soon, my roommate in court, if God permits.